Okay. Hello, primary four and five. Hello. Okay. So. Who wants a sheet? You have a sheet? Okay. So, okay. Guys, the previous time we studied the class of words and how we could classify the words into noun or verb or adjective or adverb or preposition or pronoun or conjunction or articles, right? Yes. Okay, today I'm going to stress on the difference between adjective and adverb only. Today we are going to study adjective and adverb, when I can use an adjective and when can I use an adverb. You have to understand the difference well, and this is my duty, and I just want you to focus well and just pay attention. Whenever you feel that you don't understand anything, feel free and tell me. Deal? Deal. Okay. So, who can tell me what is an adjective? When can we use an adjective? Alia. Tall, short, happy. When can we use an adjective, Raha? To describe what Yes? Great job to describe a noun. Huh? What? The adjective we use to describe the noun. Great job. The adjective we use the adjective to describe the noun. Anas, what about the adverb? We use the adverb to describe the verb. 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 Great job. Bravo, Ahmed, right? We use an adverb to describe the verb. verb. Great job. So, what I want you to understand now, I'm going to show you how we can differentiate between adjective and adverb. And we are going to have worksheets based on this lesson. We are going to solve some together, and the rest are going to be homework. Deal? Deal. Okay, so let's start with. Our topic today is about adjective or adverb. So, we said that an adjective is a word that describes the noun. So, if I am using or I am talking English and I am describing a noun, I should use an adjective. But if I am talking English and I want to describe the verb, so I'm going to use an adverb. Here, if I said, thank you so much. Okay. If I say here, let's try, the adjective is a word that describes nouns. Great job. And the adverb, guys, is a word that describes Great job. Describes verbs. Okay. Guys, sometimes we use an adjective and sometimes we can use more than one adjective. Next time, I'm going to give you order of adjectives, which is this. This chart. That's it. This chart is going to show you how we are going to order adjectives. If I am using an adjective, I should use the secret word nos, shack, pom. If I am describing something and I am using a lot of adjectives, so I should order them. Which one is going to be first, which one is going to be second, and so on. So, order of adjective, I'm going to stress on this lesson later on. 
but just as a hint for your knowledge. Ordering the adjective like this. If I am going to use adjective, I should I should mention the number first, then my opinion, after that the size, after that the shape, and then age, and then color, and then condition, and then pattern, and then origin, and then material, and then purpose. Yes, purpose. So, yes. Great job. So, these are the adjectives. You can see the example here. I want to describe the car. Okay? So, number one, I said, huh? One. I said, one. And then, next adjective, I said, good. This is my opinion. And next adjective, I said, so this is for the size. And then, I said, round. This is the shape. You got this is the order. Which one is going to be first, which one is going to be second, and so on. Next session on Thursday, I'm going to teach you this, and we are going to memorize and know it well. Okay, after the shape, I said it's new, new because this is the age. And then I said red, this is the color. And then I said American, this is the origin. Where does it come from? And then I said it's metal. metal because this is the material I am using. And then I said racing. Racing, it means it's used for racing. For example, toy car. Toy car, it means this car is for playing. Great job. If I said writing pen, it means this pen is used for writing. You got the point? So this is the purpose of what you are using or cooking pan so that means the pan is used for cooking this is the last adjective the purpose of the adjective or the purpose of something you are describing so this is a racing car the car is the noun I am describing so as I said the adjective describes the noun deal? ok let's talk about the adverb, and let's know how we can use an adverb. Okay, starting well, guys. An adverb is a word that describes the verb. An adverb is a word that describes the verb. verb. Great job, Sam. Okay, so when I describe the verb, we use an adverb. You studied at school that the adverb ends with L-Y. Like sad is going to be sadly. sadly. Okay. What the, what about good? Well. Great job. Bravo, Ismail. Good. What is the adverb for good? Well. well. Great job. And bad? More. Worse. No, I'm not asking about the comparison. I'm asking about the adverb. Bad, badly. Happy? Happy. Happily. Great job. Fast? Fast. Fast. Great job. Fast. Fast. No change. Okay. Look here, Anas. Anas, concentrate well. This is very important. Okay. An adverb is a word that describes a verb. The adverb, guys, can describe the verb in more than one way. It can describe where the verb is done. When the verb is done. It can describe how the verb is done it can describe how often the verb is done and also it can describe how much great job so the adverb can describe when the verb is done where the verb is where like come here what is the adverb great job go there what is the adverb I go downstairs. What is the adverb? Downstairs. Great job. He is outside. What is the adverb? Outside. You got the point? Because I am describing where the verb is done. So not all the adverbs ends with L-Y. There are a lot of adverbs.
verbs. And today, this is going to be our lesson. Deal? Okay. And we, we said that an adverb of how, adverb to describe how the verb is done, like how do you run quickly, how do you cook slowly, how do you speak loudly, or how do you speak <laughs> quietly. You got the point? So this is how the verb is done. Deal? Okay, let's see. Okay, so when I am talking about, when I am talking about where, it means I am describing the place of the action. When I am talking about when, I am describing time of action. Who can give me an example of an adverb of time? Raha. I'm going to study at Ipa. I'm going to study by noon. Great job. By noon. What else? Today, today, I am having a party. What is the adverb? Today. Today. Great job. Yesterday. Huh? Omar. I'm going to New York tomorrow. Great job. Clap your hands for Omar. Bravo, Omar. Bravo, Omar. Super excellent. I am going to New York tomorrow. Or we can say, yesterday I ate pizza. What is the adverb? What is the adverb? Bravo, Maria. Give me five. Super excellent. So, when I say, listen well, when I, when I use an adjective to describe how the verb is done, Ya Ahmed, this adjective describe the manner. What does it mean, the word manner? It means how do you do an action? Quickly, slowly, happily, angrily, happily, well, hard, fast. You got the point? So this is called adverbs of manner. And who can tell me, what does it mean the word how often? It describes what? Ismail. Great job. Clap your hands for Ismail. Bravo, Ismail. Super excellent. Ismail said, when I use an adverb to describe how often, it's called adverbs of frequency. Frequency, Layla means how many times you do an action. Frequency, it means how many times you do an action. Thank you so much. So, the word here, how often, it means how many times you do the action. And this is called frequency of an action. Frequency like adverbs of frequency. Always. What else? Usually. Usually often. Sometimes. Never. Ever. Hardly ever. Occasionally. Seldom. Seldom. Occasionally and seldom. Occasionally and seldom means 10%. It's less than sometimes because sometimes 25%. But and rarely. Great job. Rob, because when I say rarely, hardly ever, occasionally it means from time to time. Like maybe once a month or maybe once a year. You got the point? Yeah. Okay, and when I use an adverb to describe how much, it's an adverb of intensity. It's called an adverb of intensity because you try to measure how much you are describing an adjective. By the way, the adverbs here, for how much, it's used before the adjective, like very, like extremely. We use it before the adjective to describe the intensity of the adjective. How much? How much do you feel hot? I feel very hot. What is the adjective? Very hot. Adjective hot. What is the adverb? Very. Very. Great job. I am extremely hungry. What is the adjective? Hungry. hungry. And what is the adverb? Extremely. extremely. It's an adverb to describe how much 
you are measuring the adjective. Guys, you understand? Yeah. Guys. Okay. Are you hungry? Me too. Me too. Wallah al azim. I I had it. I I didn't eat till now, and I haven't had my my breakfast yet. Anas is eating. Anas is stop eating. Okay. So here, how much to measure the intensity of an adjective or intensity of doing a verb or something? Anyway, Islamis, let's start with let's start with adverbs of manner. I'm going to separate this like this. Okay. I'm going to stress on the adverbs of manner. The adverbs of manner, usually it's an adjective that ends with L-Y. The adverbs of manner is usually an adjective that ends with L-Y. So, for example, when I am referring to here, we have adverbs of manner is an adjective Plus, huh? L Y. Okay. Like, for example, when I say happy, it's going to be happy. But there is something. Guys, happy ends with letter Y. Before letter Y, is it vowel or consonant? Great job. Yes. Great job. So, when there is a consonant letter, before Y, so that means I am going to cancel the Y and exchange it with I L Y. Before Y, here for the adverb, you know, we add what? L Y. L Y. Before Y, we have letter P. Consonant or vowel? Consonant. Yucky. So we cancel letter Y and I replace it with what? I L Y. So here, this adjective, its adverb is going to be huh? happily. Happily, great job. So it's going to be happily. Double P L Y. I L Y. Deal? Yeah. Okay, another one. If the adverb ends with L, if the adverb ends with L, sorry, the, the adjective. L. L Y. So I'm you going to add another, another L, L and then L. Y. Great job. When there is L here, it's okay. Keep it. And then I'm going to add L Y. So in this case, I'm going to add L Y. Great job. It's going to be beautifully. Great job. If the adverb ends with L Y, no, E, it's also I'm going to add L Y. Okay, so guys, I want you to know that some adjectives, their adverbs are going to be totally different, like the irregular ones. Who can tell me the irregular ones? Let's start with good. What is the adverb for good? Well, well, yes, well. Yes. great job. Good is going to be well. well. Good is an adjective and well is an adverb. Great job. Another one, hard. What is the adverb for hard? Hard. 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 Great job. So, if you said it's so hard. When I say it's so hard, Sana, is it adjective or adverb? Uh, it's so hard. Adverb. Bravo, Sana, adjective. If I said I study hard, I study hard, I describe how I study. So the word hard, adjective or adverb? Adverb. So it depends on the sentence. You have to understand well. Whether you are describing a noun or you are describing a verb. Because both of them have the same spelling. Hard, hard. No difference. This one adjective, that one adverb. It depends on how you use it in a sentence. Deal? Okay, next one. What else? Fast. 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 Great job. What else? Anas. Early. 
Miss Ramiz? Early ends with L-Y, right? Yeah. It's an adjective. It's an adjective that ends with L-Y. What is the adverb? Early. What is the adverb for early? Early. No change. So early is an adjective used for describing the noun. If I want to use an adverb, it's going to be how early. Another one. Wrong? No, wrong. Wrong? Wrong. Late? Late. Great job. Late is going to be? Late. Half late. No change. Ahmed, how can I know the difference? Could you tell me? Huh? Could you tell me? Okay, allow me a moment. I'm getting the green marker. No. Right? 
The pronoun refers to a noun. Guys, you understand it well? Yes. You understand it well? Yes. Okay. So, here, I'm going to write another example to show you the difference between fast and fast. Omar, look ya Omar. Musala is a fast player. He runs really fast. Uh oh, I said Musala is a fast player. When I say a fast player, adjective, I am describing the noun. Fast here to describe the noun player or to describe who? Musala. Musala. But when I say he runs, he runs really fast. I describe how he runs. I describe how he runs. You got the point? So, the first one here, the word fast is an adjective. And the second one here, the word fast, Yannis, is an adverb. Okay. D? Okay. This is called what? Adverbs of manner. This is called adverbs of manner. Okay, now we are going to solve a sheet related to the other types of the adverb. We said that. Let's. Huh? Okay. Hi, guys, I said that the adverb can describe huh, where or when or how or how often or how or how much. Okay, in your sheet here, guys, I want this page. I'm going to tell you this one. I wanted this page, this one. Yes, 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 adverb. Okay, guys, did you get it? That's it, this one. This, yes. Adverb, I wanted this one. The first one, which has number one. Okay? So, yes. Guys, listen. Action verb is underlined in each sentence. Circle the adverb and that describe the verb. Guys, in this sheet, we are going to circle the adverb and write its type. What I'm going to write? I'm going to write. Where or when or how or how or how much? Deal? Okay, Anas, number one. Let's read it. My grandpa. Number one, down, down, here, down. Guys, could you please number the sentences? Number the sentences. Number them, right? One, two, three, four, and so on. Uh huh. Not matching, no. Yeah, I don't want a matching, just I want you to number the sentences and we are going circle adverb and write where or when or how, how often or how much. I'm going to write the adverb is going to describe what? It's going to describe the place or the time or the manner or frequency or intensity. Deal? Okay, let's do it guys together. Number one, my grandpa snored loudly. Anas, Anas, where is the adverb? Loudly, great job. Guys, loudly describes what? Loudly 
I know. Loudly describes what? Which type? How. How. Great job. Circle loudly and write how. So, cookie. Luli, you understand? We circle the adverb and we write what this adverb describes. Like, it describes where or when or how or how often it's type. You got the point? Okay. Yes, it's how. Finish? Yes. So, number one, loudly, and we write how. And you can write manner. You can write between brackets manner. Why? When you write where, write place, like this. When you write when, write time. How manner. When you write how often, write frequency. When you write how much, write intensity. Dear? Yes. I want you to understand new vocabulary and to understand English well and to understand everything in the grammar. You have to be you have to be knowledgeable. What? Omar. 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 Stop talking. Omar. 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 Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's stop joking. Next one, Maria. Charlie played. played on the beach yesterday. Where is the adverb? Yesterday. Great job. So, where is the adverb in number two? Yesterday. yesterday. It's an adverb how, to describe how, how, where, where, when, how old, when. when, yesterday, when, and time. Yala, let's try it. Right when and time. When and time. Finish? No. Yes. Guys, you understand? Yes. Girls, girls, do you understand all? Yes. Okay, boys. Yes. Great job. Next one. I will visit my friend tomorrow. Where's the adverb? Tomorrow. tomorrow. And we write what? When, when time. Bro, circle tomorrow. Right when time. Bravo Sama. Bravo Maria. Bravo Layla. Great job. Bravo. Oh, when between brackets time. When and between two brackets it describes time. Ah, uh -huh. I want Rahaf. Read number four and solve it. George. When you come here, what is that verb? Here. It's an adverb to describe place. where, place, Wrong. It's an adverb to describe where the verb is done between two brackets, place. It's an adverb of place, where, and place. D? D. Okay. Finish? Ahmed? Ahmed? Next one. My sheep dog sat lazily in the pool. Ahmed, what is the adverb? Lazily. Great job. So it's an adverb to describe how. How. Rob. Between two brackets, manner. It's an adverb to describe how. And between two brackets, it's an adverb of manner. Bravo, guys. Bravo. I'm very proud of you. Lazily, how, manner. Lazily, how, manner. Okay, what's your name? The twin boys, you. Yes? What's your name? Omar. And you? Muhammad and Omar. Okay, I, I just, you know, because all, most of you are new, are my new students, so that's why um, I still didn't memorize all the words. So, Omar. Mm, number six. Omar. Yala Omar. Nil. Slowly. Place. We don't say places. Place. Card. House. Ah, uh, Nil slowly placed a card on the card house. What is the adverb? Slowly. Slowly. Great job. It's an adverb to describe. Circle slowly and write how manner. Circle slowly, write how and 
manner. Great job. Bravo, guys. No. Turn is a page. Number seven. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you five minutes to do it alone, and then we are going to do it together. Yalla, you have five minutes without any talking. Continue. Turn the page. Yes, yalla, do it. The same. Circle the adverb and write its type. Write whether the adverb is describing where or when or how or how often or how much. Yalla, you have five minutes and then I'm going to do it with you. Okay, you can, no, you can, you can do it. You are super excellent. No way. Yes, yeah. Mm. Maybe dash or between brackets, it's okay, as you like. Five minutes. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to tell you, just not now. Okay. Finish? Okay. Okay, leave it, skip. 19 and then we are going to return back to in Tennessee but there is no anyone not 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 in this sheet in Tennessee like how like really extremely very fully to this it's, it comes before the adjective it can use before the like I am really hungry it's extremely hot so we can use an adverb before the adjective to describe the intensity like how much you want to describe the adjective. You got the point? Or like, for example, almost. He said, yes, I am almost done. You mean intensity, like how much you are done. Bravo, <coughs> Sam. Okay, I'm going to do it with you. 
يلا let's do it number seven. Nell stopped suddenly and listened. What is the adverb? Suddenly. Suddenly and it's how. يلا circle suddenly. Write how. Circle suddenly and write how. Next one, number eight. Nathan stamped, stamped his feet angrily. angrily. What is the adverb? Angrily. angrily. What is the type of angrily? How. how. Great job. Circle angrily, write how and manner. What? Lion. Okay. You are super excellent. Next one. I carefully glued the last piece onto the model. Carefully. carefully. How. Great job. How. how. Circle. Carefully. Write how. Number nine. Circle. Carefully and write how. Circle. Carefully and write how. Oh, only how. Just how. Sam accidentally slipped on the ice. Accidentally. Accidentally. Great job. And we write how. Circle accidentally and write how. How and manner. Great job. Patient. Patient. T I E M. Patient. So we pronounce it like patiently. Is that the point? Yes. Yes, patiently is an adverb of manner. So next one. Uh oh, yesterday they played a game. Great job. We circle what? Bravo, Mumbai. Bravo. We circle yesterday and we write when. You understand? Okay. You understand when? Okay. Noor. Miss Noor. Open the door. No. Take a picture of the board and send it on WhatsApp. Next one. The truck grumbled loudly. Loudly. What is the adverb? Loudly. Loudly. How? How? It's a, yes. It's an adverb to describe how the verb is done. So when I say loudly, how to describe the manner. Deal? Ahmed, you understand? Guys. What I am teaching you is really important. And at school you are not going to learn all of these things because schools schools don't teach the, the difference in everything. But I want you to understand the difference in all the lessons in grammar. So I just want your full concentration and I want cooperation. What does it mean the word cooperation? It means you have to work with me. Whenever I give you something, try not to be lazy. Do your homework on time. If you feel that you don't understand something, let me know. So I want cooperation and interaction. Deal? And this is for your own good. Anyway, 13. 13. We will go to the concert soon. Well, 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 well. What is the adverb? Well, soon. And it's how? How? No, no. Soon. Will is not an adverb. The other one is well with e. This is will. This is well. Okay? Will, it's a modal verb. I use it in the future. Tomorrow I will go to the club. So, listen. Again, he said will. No, will is not an adverb. It's a modal verb that I use it for the, for the future. When I want to do something later on. Tomorrow I will go. Next week I will swim. But the other one, which is an adverb, is well, not will. Well. Deal? Okay. So we said soon and when. Right, next one, number 14. Jen waited patiently for the computer to load. Omar, patiently. patiently. What is the type of the adverb? How, how man. Patiently, how man. Fifteen. Kyla finally arrived at the park. 
Finally, how and how and manner. How and manner. And it can be when. It can be how, it can be when. Deal? Usually sometimes over. Mm. Next one. 15, finally. And it can be how or when. 16. My mother nicely reminded me to do nicely, my homework. Nicely. nicely. And. What? Uh, yes. And nicely describes how, which kind. Uh, Diane, nicely. Which kind? Uh, how. Okay. Serene. You understand? Great job. Sama and Serene. Super excellent. Okay. Hello. 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 Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Hilda. 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 You understand well? Okay, Hilda. I want you to do number 16. Oh, we did, we did, we did 16. My mother nicely reminded me to do my homework. Where's the adverb? Great job, nicely. Great job, Hilda. And it's going to be how or when? How? 17. The astronaut easily fixes the problem. Ismail. Easily. What are the type? How. How. Okay, great job. Number 18. I want a girl. 18. I want a girl to answer this. 17. Okay, 17. Easily. How? 16. Nicely. How? Not Omar. I want a girl. Alia, I usually hug my mother when I get home. Usually. Usually. What is the type of the adverb? 17. How, how often? How, how often? And we write frequency. So when I say I usually hug my mother when I get home, usually is an adverb of frequency. It shows how often you do an action. Like how many times? Deal? Okay, number 17, uh, who was asking? What's your name? Iyad. Iyad, Iyad, number 17, easily, how? 18, usually, how often? 19, my dog always barks. What does it mean, the word barks? Okay, barks, always, circle always, and we write what? How often? How often, great job. Circle always and write how often. What? 13? Uh, soon? When? Soon? Circle soon and write when. 20. Peter? No, I want a lion. Lion. 17 easily. 17 easily and how? Number 20. Peter neatly wrote a shopping list. Neatly, how, how, and its manner. Great job. Bravo, guys. Bravo, guys. You need a clapping. Bravo, guys. Clap your hands for all of you. Bravo. Bravo. Super excellent. Okay. Let's do this. I want this page. Next one. Just, just next one. We said number 20. Neatly, how. Neatly and how? I want this page. Yes. Just turn the page. Adjective or adverb? Yes. Okay. No? So allow me a moment. No.
Mike is a clever student. Why? Because Mike is a noun. Ah, it's okay. No, no. In other sentences, they are going to switch. So the first one, Mike is a student. Clever or cleverly? Clever. clever. Number one, clever. The first one, clever. He answers all the questions cleverly. Bravo, Alia. Alia, what is the verb? When I say he answers all the questions cleverly, what is the verb? No, what is the verb? Answers. Bravo, Bravo, Layla. Answers. The verb here, answers. Guys, cleverly describes how he answered the question. Cleverly describes how he answers the question. Deal? Deal. Okay. Hilda. Hilda. Dodi Dodi. Hello, Holly. Hilda. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hilda. This man buys clothes from this shop. Regular or regularly? Read well. Regularly. Great job. Because I am describing the verb. Why? How much? Great job. Or how often? Regular, it means on daily basis or maybe every week, every month. Yes. So here the first one is going to be regularly and the second one, he is our customer. I am describing the customer. Regular. Regular customer. If at number one, we use the adverb. Number two, we use the adjective. <sighs> Regularly. Here, we use. Which one? Oh, okay. But this one, regular, okay. Next one. Uh-oh. Ahmed. Brain, brain ready. Walks quick or quickly? Number six. Brain ready. Walks quick or quickly? Ahmed. Quickly. Bravo. Because I described how he walks. So we use an adverb. The first answer is going to be quickly. The second answer, he is a walker. Quick. Bravo, yeah. He is a quick walker. Bravo. The verb is walks. Number seven. Number seven. Sally, Sally opened the door of the classroom. There is a verb. Slow or slowly? Slow. Wrong. Slowly because there is a verb. Sally opened Sally. the door slowly. No, there is a verb. I don't describe Sally. I describe the verb opened. How Sally opened the door. She opened the door slowly. So I am describing how the action is done. Next one. And she saw the, the thief. Okay, number eight. Steve is my friend. Close or closely? Closely. Close. Close. Is my close friend. Is my close friend. Number eight. Close friend. It's not close. By the way, the word listen. Guys, listen. Listen to me to understand how we pronounce the word close. Guys, when the word close comes at, as a verb, it's going, Lyanne, listen well, this is very important. When the word close, Yarahaf, comes as a verb, so we say close. But, but, when the word close comes as an adjective, it means near. So we pronounce it close, not close. Again, if it's a verb, like close the door, I pronounce it close the door. But if it's an adjective, which means near, because close means near. Okay, so we pronounce it close. This one is an adjective. So I'm going to say close friend, not close, close. 
close friend. Deal. Steve is my close friend. Number nine. Michael never breaks his friend's heart. He is a ready person. He is a ready person. Fine. Bravo, Omar. Bravo, Muhammad. Bravo, Rahab. Ahmed. Bravo, Rahab. And Ahmed. Kind person. Number 10. Russell behaved. Ready? There is a verb. Kind or kindly? Bravo, Maria. Kindly. Bravo, Maria. Bravo, Ahmed. Abdurrahman. Yes, your brother is Ahmed and you are Abdurrahman. I said to you. Bravo. I know. We have Ahmed, Ahmed, Abdurrahman. A lot of names. Okay. Next one. That teacher, that teacher, listen, listen, number 10, kindly, number 11, that teacher treats her students, treats, is it a verb or noun? Verb. Verb. So verb. I am describing how the teacher treats her students. Sama, the teacher treats her students as kind or kindly? Kindly. Bad or badly? Badly. 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 Bravo, Sama. Bravo, Sirin. I am describing how, I am describing how she treats her students. Next one. What name that, 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 that treats her students badly? I don't know. Okay, next one. My, my father, listen. My My father looked anxious or anxiously out of the window. Guys, the word anxious, it means worried. What is my son? Where? Where does he go? Like, he is anxious, it means he is worried. You got the point? So, the sentence says, my father looked out of the window, there is a verb. So we use anxious or anxiously. Great job, anxiously, great job. So number 12 is going to be anxiously. Okay. Abdurrahman, your name is Abdurrahman. And me. And you. And Nusa. Okay, next one. Uh-oh. He waited for his friend. Waited like I am waiting. Oh, my friend. I am waiting. Patient or patiently? Patient. Have a verb to describe? Yes. What is the verb, Rahab? Wait. Great job. Wait. Clap your hands for Rahab. Bravo. Clap your hands for Rahab. Super excellent. When I say he wait, waited, like you are waiting. Mom, when are you coming? Okay, two hours, one hour, ten minutes. I'm waiting. You got the point like this. I am sitting and waiting. So he waited for his Friend, patient or patiently? Patiently. Great job, patiently. Next one. Uh oh. He is a painter. Huh? Bravo, Laila. He is a painter. Good or well? Good. Good. He paints really? Well. Well. So the first one is going to be good. The second one is going to be well. Great job. Uh -huh. Number 13, patiently. 14, good, well. Next one. My mother listened to my problems, listened. So we have sympathetic and sympathetically. Sympathetically. Yes, I'm going to use the adverb. Sympathetic, it means in a kind way. She is hearing you. She is 
she tries to be kind, she tries to share her ideas with you. Okay? A crocodile lives near rivers and it's really a animal. Animal. I describe the crocodile.